Hey, welcome back to That So Trendy. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing some 10 minute sewing projects. These are gonna be super quick, super easy to do. All right, so for the first one, don't worry about the blurriness, it gets better. But um, I wanted to do any of the apron because everybody seems to like the apron, but I wanted to do it in a simpler version that was much quicker. All right, so I went into Ikea. I got all the fabrics from Ikea and I saw these um, dish towels. They also had an apron with the similar type patterns, but it was like a weird, I don't know what kind of material it was, but it was weird. But I thought these towels were bigger than they were. I only intended to have to use one, but they're not as big as I thought they were. So I'm just going to put three together and it's okay because it makes a cute little patch pattern. So what you're going to just do is line them up the way that you want them to go. And then you're just going to sew them down the sides on the long way, only on the long way, not across the top, not across the bottom. You're just going to face them right side to right side and sew a straight line down, joining them together. So if you use three like I did, you're going to do one on each side of the middle one if you only use two and you do it the longer way making a different type pattern then you would just do it towards the shorter way i hope that makes sense if you have any questions just let me know um but once you join all three pieces together or two pieces depending on what you do or if you find a towel that is big enough to do this then you don't need to worry about joining them at all and you can just skip this step all together but once I joined all of mine then I just um tack down where they join together at the bottom not at the top because you'll have the ribbon there and then when you go over it with the ribbon it'll tack it down but again this is a step that you don't have to do but I just thought it would help it not flop around and stuff like that so I tack those down on each side of the middle piece and just flatten them out so you know you just straighten out the seam you could go all the way up it and be real extra but that would take away from it being a 10 minute pattern all right so once you have your pieces laid out or your tea towel is long enough you're just going to find the middle and then i had a hard time deciding which ribbon i wanted to pick so i brought a few different choices and i like to pull for that one but then I think the polka dot one would have went better with a solid um, fabric. So then I ended up going with the black one, but the polka dot one would have been cute too. But either way, you're gonna find the middle of your tea towel and then you're going to fold it in half so you can just mark it where you want it. And then you're going to make your ribbon as big as you want it. I did mine the whole thing of ribbon that I had there because I wanted to wrap it around front and tie it in a bow. But if you don't want to do that, you can make it shorter just to tie it in the back. And then you're just going to pleat or ruffle the um, towel from the middle. Not too small, but the more you pleat and ruffle it, the bigger it'll be. But you don't want to do it too small because you want to still cover the front. So you find the middle and then you're just going to pleat all the way out. Or like I said, rough, like gather it. You could just take a little loose stitch and pull it so that it gathers cute too. But um, I pinned mine. Once you're done doing that, you can see that it almost matches the exact size of the towel the long way. And if you wanted to, you could attach because the Ikea ones come in four pieces. You could attach it and make a full apron and just put a ribbon across the top so you could tie it at the top. But like I said, I want this to be simple. So I'm just gonna take the ribbon and put it like from the top to the, you know, so they line up right there so that when you pin it together or sew it together, you could just flip it back and you won't see the seam. You see how it does that, whatever and stuff. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. You could come back and you could stitch it again to make sure it stays nice and flat. But once it's on you, it stays perfectly fine. So you just stitch it down and then you're done. And that's like your first 10 minute project. And it won't even take you 10 minutes, especially if you can find a towel long enough to do it. And then I also just fold it in and sew down the end of the ribbon because I didn't want it to fray over time. But like I said, this is super quick, super easy, and anyone can do it. It's a great project for beginners. And it's a cute little gift to give if you want to give too because 
these towels at ikea only cost a couple of bucks and it makes a really cute apron now you can find some at home goods or all kind of different places and it takes you less than 10 minutes and it's super cute all right now for the next project the next project is another super cute and simple one and with this one i'm using these headbands that i got from the dollar tree that i thought i was going to do i was going to try to do like um mickey ears on our last trip to disney and i was going to use that as a template it didn't the proportion for it didn't work out the same so i had to wind up doing something different to make the ears but anyway all right so i saved the headbands and again i'm going to use these towels that i got from ikea again i'm going to cut off like one third of it with all my measurements i just eyeball stuff um if i intend to make it again I'll measure it and then write it down. But for the most part, I just eyeball it, you know? But um, you take and you make it so that it's wide enough so when you fold it, so whatever measurements you want, if you want it really wide, you're gonna need a thicker fabric because it's gonna be floppy. But I made it um, about that wide so that when I fold it in and sold it, it would be as wide as I wanted it. And then I'm just gonna sew it right side to right side along one end down the middle on the side and then only part of the other end because I'm going to leave an opening so that I can turn it the right side out. So once you're done, I'm going to turn it the right side out and tack it closed so that it doesn't open up, you know, over time at the end when you left it open. And then I'm just going to turn it the right side out and push out all the corners and stuff like that and then put the headband in. So it's real simple to make the cover for it. You could do this and just really glue the piece on the outside, but I didn't want it on the outside, I wanted it in. So I put it in and then once you have it in, it's the right length so that it's not too much space, but it's enough space. Fold in a little piece and then you can sew that down so everything is closed up inside. Once you have both of the pieces closed up or your piece closed up, you can just put the corners together because I wanted the seam to be at the bottom. So if you can see like, and then when you put the pieces together, the two corners, it makes like a little peak on the end if you put the seam on the bottom, like I did. And then can be done right there, but I wanted to make sure the headband didn't flop around. So I um, sewed down each side because the headband was flexible. It was easy just to flatten it out as I sewed, but I just put the headband where I wanted it to be and sewed along the side of it. You don't have to like attach it to the foot or anything like that because I didn't want it to butt up with it exactly. And you don't want to go over the headband, but I just wanted to keep it from flopping around in the inside. You wouldn't have that issue if you took it and just glued the fabric on top. But I wanted to sew it so that it was like kind of like a permanent look. And then that's it for that one. So now we're going to go on to the next one, which is the remaining fabric from the headband. And I tried to put in the measurements of the towels, um, if you saw right there, so that you can get an idea if you wanted to use that other fabric, if you didn't want to use these. You could use scrap fabrics, different things like that. But I'm using, so that's like two thirds of one and then I'm using a whole towel for the other one. So what you're gonna wanna do is go down far enough so that you can leave an opening on each side. You don't wanna just leave a small opening, you wanna leave an opening big enough so that you can fold it over and sew it down. So it has to be big enough for that to make sense. You see how like I can almost fit my finger in there when I'm done. This one I'm doing a little bit further down because I want to also fold it over again at the top so that the seam is in a raw edge when I fold it in. You get that right? I hope you do. All right. <laughs> so from where you marked it, where you're going to um, leave that part open, you're going to just sew down on that side, sew down along the whole bottom side 
and then sew back up the other side till you get to the other pin. With the other one, you're gonna do it different because it's only folded in half, so you don't have to worry about sewing the bottom. But like I said, if you're using scraps or whatever and stuff, you're gonna wanna go basically three sides, leaving an opening. But like I said, you wanna leave it to where you have that opening on the side of each one because that's where the ribbon is gonna go in to make the um, drawstring bag. Right? I never said what we was making. A drawstring bag. So <laughs> you're going to do that for each one, leaving the opening so that later on you can come back and put the string in your drawstring bag. All right. So once that is done, then you're going to come back and go on to the next step. So you can see now I sewed all the sides. And then what you just want to do is sew down right there so the seam is inside and not flopping on the outside and if you have the raw edge you fold that down and sew it but this one is already done so you don't need to do it on that one you just sew in the side and then fold it over to the beginning of the opening and then it should look like this when you're done so that you have see two little holes there because so, you're going to just sew along the bottom to close it up on both sides so again you're just folding it in and sewing it straight of course so that you have the opening to put your ribbon all right you want your ribbon longer than the bag opening and i didn't cut mine to the end just to show you that if you only had one opening on one side if you sewed up the other edge and left that like that then you just would pull it straight through on both sides you can use a safety pin or what have you and stuff but i use my little turner piece but you'll pull them through, make sure it's nice and even for both strings, and then I cut it. And you can see there, like see if you wanted it one piece, and you can even do it with, with openings on both sides, but like I said, I wanted it the string will come out both sides so i'm just gonna pull it even so that you know each side has the same amount and then cut it into two pieces so that you know you can tie it and it's even when you tie it and you can cut your ribbon on i'm just using like 12 like ribbon but you can cut it on an angle so that again it doesn't fray over time what have you and then you can just pull it close put a little bow in it and it's cute i'm gonna use these bags for um this one right here my daughter's gonna use to put her soccer shoes in because she carries them to school a lot and she doesn't have a bag and the other one because it has a kitchen thing i think it'll be cute for like produce and stuff like that so that was it if you liked please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and watch more videos for cute sewing projects and things that you can follow along with and i'll see you in the next one bye